Yes. Ooh. This is so aggravating. Like, why is my Verizon Wireless acting bootleg? Like, why do I pay my phone bill, the what I pay it expensive? And Verizon is supposed to be the most fastest working network. It works on the elevators and everything. And for some reason, it's acting very slow and it's acting real sped and magic school bus ish and i don't like it and it's aggravating me it really is wave is so cute hey. but it's like why does it keep stopping Mommy? yes uh oh She don't fuck with me. Who said that you can't hold? No. That nigga munching, he gon' eat me like a mango. Mm. Long ass feet, it be tickling my ass. So that's basically um, Rarebone, which is basically Kenneth Petty's um, ex girlfriend, the one that um, basically posted that Kenneth Petty, that was who Kenneth Nicki Minaj's husband was dating. Rarebone, who you just saw, um, hey. she pretty much. She don't fuck with me. Who said that you can't hold? That nigga munching, he gon' eat me like a mango. Long ass feet, it be tickling my ass. Hold on. Hey. Mommy? Yeah? Uh oh. I see Offset in him. That she don't fuck with me. Who said that you can't hold? That nigga munching. You know me, I'm finna go lurk. Drip. Bye. To wait, what? Oh, um, I mean, I think it's the wrong. Hey, that she don't fuck with me. Who said that you can't hold? No. Child Cardi B is nothing to play with, honey. Nicki Minaj, <laughs> child. A red bone, no. I'm trying to find her Instagram. I am followed by I am Cardi B. <laughs> so this is Kenneth Petty's ex-girlfriend. So if y'all don't know the backstory, Kenneth Petty basically, um, you know, he pretty much was at the turkey drive, right? But this was his girlfriend, right? And so Redbone, um, she basically he went missing. So all of a sudden, She's basically hitting up, hitting him up like, where you at? And then, um, so this is basically what the story was. That's what she explained. Um, she was like, uh, Red Bone, you know, you know, they were together. And then all of a sudden he went missing. Then he put up a, then he let her know, contacted her and said in the message, I'm getting to the bag. Like, I'm getting to the bag. Like, you know, basically Nicki Minaj, she's dealing with Nicki Minaj. Red Bone said that he said he's getting to the bag he's gonna be back you know so he was just using Nicki Minaj for money and so um Redbone posted the message um that Kenneth had put up that 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 Kenneth had sent her about using Nicki Minaj and getting to the bag and next thing you know you know Redbone basically gets attacked um you know, allegedly Kenneth had his people do it because he, she she posted that message about Kenneth basically using Nicki Minaj because he ended up popping up with Nicki Minaj as her man. And Redbone posted a message like you were just a come up for him. That's what he told me. And she posted what Kenneth said. Next thing you know, Redbone um, is getting her house broken into. You know, she gets beat up, blood all on the floor. Nosey Ho had showed the whole video of it and basically all the pictures. And um, this is basically nosy. I mean, this is um, she bad, bad. And the reason why um, Cardi posted nose uh Redbone on her story was because Nikki was trying to be funny and was trying to basically say that Jade, the girl that Offset we used to mess with a long time ago, his ex side piece, she was basically trying to, you know, taunt Cardi and say, oh, Jade looks so sexy. Jade looks so good. And, you know, and Jade basically Offset's old side piece. These thirsty ass bitches, you got your ass beat. You got beat up. And you you, you only got 5K, I think, um, from getting beat up. And y'all hoes still like, you know, 
Y'all still trying to, like, come for Cardi. You you bitches is mad. Like, y'all are old hoes, okay? Niggas cheat. But y'all are throwback old ass hoes. So Jade, being thirsty, posts what Nikki, Claw Chasing Vibes, posts what Nikki has said about her. And, of course, it got back to Cardi B. And Cardi was like, oh, so basically you want to, you know, be funny and try to, you know, talk about my, the, the girl that my husband used to mess with a long time ago and you want to be funny and try to say she's sexy well i think that your your nigga um ex-girlfriend sexy you was just a come up to him you was just a you was just a come up you was just some a bag to him and when he got caught up and when he got that message posted about him and what he said about you he got upset and basically felt like you was about to fumble his bag and he got upset that rare bone he felt like was about to fumble his bag and so he goes and allegedly sends goons to attack his um ex-girlfriend and um rare bone this is kenneth's ex-girlfriend had explained the whole story so and she posted pictures and everything let me go get the pictures so basically that's who cardi b posted this is kenneth petty's ex-girlfriend whom he left to go you know be with Nicki minaj for money and she posted the 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 um the messages basically showing that Kenneth said I'm out here getting the bag, Nicki Minaj being the bag. So basically Nicki wanna play dirty. Well, I mean she posted you, you wanna po you wanna talk about Jade, Offset's ex side piece. Okay, well <laughs> I mean I'm gonna talk about Kenneth's ex girlfriend. So Nikki is like Nikki, this is not the smoke you want, sweetheart. Every every angle, every which way you go to try to dart dart at Cardi B, she embarrasses you. Every single cause uh, Offset's past is in the past, but this girl right here, like she still is presently like the girl that literally you took her man because you got money. That's it. You are a, you literally are a house. You 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 literally like are housing a wife. Like you have a, you have a housewife. Okay, Kenneth is your wife. Like you you literally take care of this man, and that's exactly what she said. Kenneth said, I'm getting to the bag. And he got it. And he secured the bag when he gave you a baby. So let's take a look at Kenneth's ex. Oh, she got a business too? Okay. <clears throat> it's Cardi for me. And it's Verizon Wireless acting a fool for me, bro. I don't understand Verizon, bro. I pay y'all too much. Like, y'all niggas need to tighten up. <laughs> and, uh, and Cardi B is following her. And I'm following her, too. Shoot. Mm-hmm. And the only reason why she got exposed was because she sued Nosy Ho. Nosy Ho got all the the receipts or whatever on Redbone. And it's like, had you left these people alone, your business would not be out like this. All your business is out because you decided to basically, you know, pick on people that you felt like have no power and sue them. And now all your business is coming out. Nobody knew about this Redbone girl, but Nosy digged her up. And now we all know that that's the girl that Kenneth was dating he left her for you. He left her for to get a bag from you. He secured the bag with the baby. And this girl was attacked all of a sudden because she posted messages of you confirming that you basically wanted to be with Nikki just for money. And he was gone just getting some money and basically alluding to the fact that he would be back. Okay? So, let's go see. Like, I'm going to go research her statements and what she said. Like, she got beat up, like, and recovered and bounced back looking like a snack. I know that's right. Nikki could never. Mm-mm. Her arms little, too. I like her arms. <laughs> I love Cardi, bro. You could never, you know, you could never play in Cardi face. Cardi gonna checkmate every single time. You talking about Jade? Okay, let's talk about Redbone then. Let's do her real quick. Like, she don't play. <laughs> I'm catching body number two. She caught body number two. She caught JT yesterday. Now, um, I think yesterday, all I think this was yesterday. Nosy Ho posted this. Yesterday, she caught body number three. Nikki again. With Redbone. 
So this is Kenneth's ex, you guys, that he left, you know, to get a big bag from Nicki Minaj, according to Redbone. Okay. Now, let's go. She pretty. And the thing is, is that she did good by like, you know, let, let, you know, you don't want no sex offender penis girl. Just let Nicki Minaj have him and let her suffer all the embarrassments we heard. Like, don't link yourself with that. Drip. Okay, this is her business. Okay. This is her business. I like this. I like this. I like this little outfit that she put on. I would wear this for my man. I would do that for him. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, dudes are not, women are not the only opportunists. Women are not the only city girls. There's city boys out here, too, that'll sit up there and, you know, use a, use a bitch for a big bag. You know what I'm saying? Like, city boys exist, too. Let me go get Redbone statements. So, yeah, guys, these are the receipts. So, this is basically Redbone. This happened, like, what, a year ago? Um, So, this is daytime tea that basically was posting the receipts that Redbone had posted. Um, the DMs between her and Kenneth, allegedly, um, that she had posted. So, um, it says, hey, baby, if I was you, I wouldn't post the one on your page. He said he slutted you out and... And you fucked everyone in the hood. Said you was Tweety girl and you was sucking his dick while you was with Tweety. And he said he slapped the shit out of you. Tweety? What? <laughs> That's what they call dudes in the hood. Okay. Um, so then, this is supposed to be her and Kenneth. Now, are you going to pay me the money Kenny owes me? And then, what does it say right here? It says, I can't. Hold on. It says, really sad. I don't want no man like you. I can't do it anymore. You sound dumb, is what Kenneth allegedly responded. Okay, so these are the message that um, Redbone, the girl that Cardi posted, which is Kenneth's ex. Um, these basically are the messages of her and Kenneth um, basically allegedly exchanging um Basically, Kenneth's saying that, hey, I'm at the Turkey Drive, which is where Kenneth had met up with Nicki Minaj again. I'm at the Turkey Drive. Not Nicki Minaj picking up a husband for charity. But anywho, I'm at the Turkey Drive or whatever the case may be. That's what, you know, Kenneth was telling old girl. Old girl didn't want that. But, um, you know, he went and he ended up with Nicki, like, booed up like a couple of days later. So when she found that out, Redbone basically um, was DMing Kenneth, and these are supposedly him and um, <clears throat> Kenneth. Uh, the, allegedly, this is her and Kenneth DMing back and forth. Um, she was like, you know, really sad. I don't want no man like you. I can't even do it no more. And then Kenneth allegedly replied, it's supposed to be Kenneth. You sound dumb, but cool. Please give me my key, and you can go ahead about your life and be up. Lou ass and Nikki ass and whoever. I don't want no man like that. And then, and then, um, Kenneth, basically, this is Nikki Minaj's, <clears throat> she sent this to Nikki Minaj. She sent everything that her and Kenneth were talking about. She sent it to Nikki Minaj. You can see Nikki Minaj's, um, check symbol, <clears throat> her check, her blue check mark. So she's sending this conversation she's having with Kenneth to Nikki Minaj. Kenneth then responds and says, grow up. I'm trying to get us a bag. That's what he said. Grow up. I'm trying to get us a bag. Basically, he's using Nicki Minaj for a bag. And then she said, no, nah, I'm grown. Nobody care about them. That's what Kenneth said. And um, allegedly, that's what he said. And then that's when um, she responded. Then he was like, you sound so dumb. Stop beefing. You will see improvement. Yeah, stop beefing. You will see improvement. So, um, basically she sent this to Nicki Minaj. Like I said, the check mark, you can see it there. And then you see that it, at the bottom, it says seen. So Nicki Minaj saw all of these messages and, um, basically 
she sent him. It was seen. Everything that Kenneth had basically said to his ex, Redbone, hey, I'm getting the bag. I'm trying to get us a bag. He's trying to use Nikki to get him and Redbone a bag, okay? Um, okay. Then all of a sudden, shortly after, boom, this happens. A home invasion happens. And she says, this is Redbone. Um, she basically... It says, Kenneth Petty's ex-girlfriend was almost killed in an attack. And then she said, thank God my daughter wasn't home. And I'm thinking, and I'm thinking, God, I'm still alive. Before adding, came to shoot me in my own home and dropped your gun. I'm out of commission for a few. Pray for me. Um, So she posted, came to shoot me in my own home and dropped your gun. I'm out of commission for a few. Pray for me. Okay. So she basically is accusing um, Kenneth of basically him or someone he's someone of an affiliate coming to shoot her in her own home over basically what she said nikki she went on a post she went on to post a number of graphic pictures of her bloodied face and home which revealed the brutal nature of the alleged crime which she explained has left her out of commission people have been posting messages of support to new york resident noel and wishing her speedy recovery after the attack but the pictures of the horrific incident will certainly come as a big shock to everyone Okay. So yeah, basically, you know, she allegedly was basically um explaining that, you know, this was done because of the messages that she had sent Nicki Minaj and Nicki Minaj had seen the messages cuz it says her name in a blue check mark and seen and basically the messages showed that Kenneth was saying, "A hey, allegedly Kenneth was writing to her saying, I'm getting us a bag. That's why I'm basically like out here with Nikki and it's not that serious. I don't care about them. So, you know, Nikki basically, I mean, if that was Kenneth that sent her that, all alleged, we're going to say that, um, it just, it's sad to see how your self-esteem could be so low. You could see a dude literally blankly say, I'm with you for a bag. I'm trying to give me and my girl a bag. And you still with him and you have a baby by him. So basically this is, that's red bone. No, um, once again, all alleged or whatever the case may be. Um, that's what you got to say. <laughs> that's the, that's the thing you, you, you must say. But, um, yeah, this is her. And this is basically who Cardi B had posted to her page. This is just the backstory, guys. I was just giving you. Because y'all are probably like, who the hell is Redbone? No. Why would Cardi post her? Well, that's Kenneth Petty's ex. The girl that he left to be with Nicki Minaj for a bag. I mean, Verizon Wireless want to stop playing with me, too. Because I pay too much money for y'all to be the fastest network servicing company. Cellular company. And y'all act I don't speak dog <laughs> Oh. oh, Olivia go. Oh, she look good. She had her babies. Oh, Cardi um uploaded her um oh she updated her um her story. Okay. But yeah. Oh, yeah. Fake. But yeah. They are going off on TikTok to my girl verse, okay? But anywho, guys, yeah, so, like, pretty much what really, really precipitated Cardi to post that girl was the fact that, like I said, she wanted Nikki tried to be shady about Offset's XI piece, and the XI piece started to post what Nikki was saying. Oh, she's so sexy. Uh, you know, Nikki saying that um, Offset's XI piece was sexy. So, you know, Cardi just went ahead and politely posted Kenneth's ex. Checkmate. <laughs> Bro, I can't. I can. Cardi ain't no pussy, and she not gonna let you punk her. That's why that's my cousin. And um, anywho, y'all, that is the tea for today, sweetheart. The tea yesterday took me out. Uzi and you know, um, and Brim is what got me. Uzi and Star, and then it's like, damn, Cardi B cleared every every girl that's coming her way. She has been clearing left and right. Jeffrey Dahmering these hoes. And now she, Jeffrey Dahmer, Nicki Minaj by posting Kenneth's ex. And I just, I'm living. I cannot. But you know what? 
it's like Cardi is so great to me because she could be a superstar and be that top rap chick and win Grammys and stuff, but she could still clear a bitch too. She could still stoop down to your level and clear the fuck out of you. She's clearing the, all these peasants, all these old, broke ass, bitter, scorned women offender pussy having ass women and all of these bitches that you know these these lap dogs all these broke whores all these bitches that's beneath cardi because cardi's the top rap bitch she can clear y'all hoes definitely 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 it's a grammy award-winning woman and it's very professional and gets to the bag but she can stoop down to your level and clear y'all bitches too and make y'all look absolutely ridiculous like she's been making bitches look dumb all week and i live for it i love it it's just clear after clear after clear after clear <laughs> god is great my my cousin has a grammy winning vagina uh-huh 